He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Where is she out to? It's not what you might be thinking. Eh? The blondie. Slump. Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. I'm on the ground. Take me. Damn thing fell off again. How much longer is this going to go on? Why do they have his name just... That much disrespect? Like, god dang. I like it. Hey, you wink? No. Hmm. Probably for the best. Go up. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Uh huh. <clears throat> Beast. That was beauty. But like, it's been a while since I played this game, so I'm trying to really just trying to remember everything. Down apartment. Damn, should have cracked a window. Why do you take his phone? That bad. <sighs> what a night. Damn it. But why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. What's Huff and Puff? Isn't that cigarettes or here? I don't know why I said the heck. Oh yeah, Colin. Uh, huh. Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Got 
Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on, that's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well what I'm the hungry hell? now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Probably. But, uh, no. Um, I remember last time I said something different, so I'm changing, like, all any. my options. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories, either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. Oh, it's a smart ad. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. No. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Beauty. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I kept her from making a bad situation worse. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, Wait that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. <laughs> Thanks, Bigby. Oh, God. Just gets the whole place shot up. You can stop all that. Snow. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Snow. No. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? Where are we going? 
out in front of the building. We have to get there. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Oh, I know exactly what that is. That is. <clears throat> you can stop. Oh my god. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Oh. Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. A working girl. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working oh. Woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of uh, us I do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. What is that? The kind of what is? Oh, that's nasty. It's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither oh, do what? I. What? Oh, I think I remember, Some but I don't exactly blood. remember. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed, for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay. No, okay. Man, I just tried Good to do idea. something, but it didn't work. Forgot I can't do that while I'm broadcasting. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Crap of fabric. 
fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Ooh, don't be something that I think is not our body. Okay. There's oh. some loose trash. Someone got messed up by a fence. Still wet. Sharp enough. Hit it herself by accident. <laughs> What are you about to do? What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Oh, about her here. How did this happen? Why her? Sorry, Snow. Just not ready to say yet. Fine. Let's just get upstairs. I didn't leave her on sure. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway. So, we may as well get out in front of it. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. And I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds... reasonable, but... I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. What are you gonna do with her head, though? Complete chapter three. It just said I completed chapter two when I was talking to her. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? It looks so familiar. I've been standing familiar. here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Yes, you Instead do. of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been Come doing on. something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah. Her pimp. Her... Was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You wow. two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. 
Forget it. You can't do anything right. Oh, that's rude. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Ooh, I should have said that. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. A savage. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin. Get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Ooh, I really have to get this appointment. I can look away. at myself in Let the me know mirror. If you need anything. Oh, magic mirror. <laughs> I'm hey, an idiot. Magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. Well, he's ramen. <sighs> Mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do... I can't help you. Mm. Nobody right now. Okay, Very but, well. But please I don't return so she's wish to ask about someone else or someone new. He's coming in hot. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Over there and talk to them. This is a complete series. I can make the episodes long, I guess. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Beast. Beauty. Beauty and the Beast. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. 
I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Oh, it does. Me. Yeah, I wasn't too nice to her. I think her name might have been Red. Oh, no, Alan and his brothers. What's what happened to Red? I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. Ichabod Crane. Ah, uh, Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. It's a symbol. That's why I skipped it, because I noticed it was before. the symbol. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's Why is she here, just a donkey? She had donkey skin on her. Okay. Shit. Oh, here it is, right here. Ah, oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo? That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. Oh what does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as... <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Ah, uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Uh, is that an actual story? I never heard we got of what that. We came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we. Name was Faith. Yeah. We're gonna ask the mirror now. We I can ask the mirror because I actually know her name. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. To the mirror! Oh crap, where'd the mirror go? Okay, let's talk to him. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, 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 about this fable. Abel. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? what? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that 
crosses him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh, God. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Let's go. Let go. Let go. Hang on. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah. Wait, we we'll have to do for this. now. Come on. We're going over there. Sorry. I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes. I. He is. Hold on. Bigby. It's for you. Bigby! It's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he. Oh, wait, well, hang on. Boy! Shit! Hey! What was that about? Oh, Hard Prince. to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's All I know is Tweedledee, Dung, and Tweedledee. Really but he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Let's go. Okay, guys, I want to conclude that as Did Toad part... say who was there? Hold on, I'll was let it this the woodsman? finish. I don't know, it's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Okay, so guys, we're gonna decide. I'm gonna go to Prince Lawrence's house first, but I'll, I'll, we're, I'm gonna cut the episode name? here, and I hope you guys enjoyed. We need to tell and, him about yeah. his wife. He so, deserves to know. Yeah, right. bye. Like, and subscribe. Tough... And... Let that. I didn't mean to do that. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to.